Let's see the overview and working of servlets. In the earlier days of internet, the pages which were present were in the form of HTML, that is hypertext markup language. By using HTML, the web pages which were designed were static in nature. That is, they were mainly meant for static processing. But as the web world started developing, more and more complex web applications began to develop which required dynamic processing. To achieve dynamic processing, one possible solution was by using CGI scripts which were common gateway scripts. In the case of common gateway, the client sends a request to the server the server starts a CGI script based upon the request. The script computes a result and after computing the result it quits. The server then sends the computed response back to the client. This forms one request response cycle. If another client sends a request, the same procedure is repeated back again. So the point to note here is, in the case of CGI script, for each request, a separate process is initiated. In a similar way, Java bot servlets, which were again meant for dynamic processing of web pages. Since we have dynamic processing, servlets is a server side component and it runs on a web container, which contains a servlet engine. So in the case of servlets, again the client sends a request to the server. The server starts a servlet. The servlet again computes a result and sends it back. But the point to note here is it doesn't quit. So in case another client sends a request, since the servlet is already loaded, it need not be loaded again in the memory. Thus improving performance and response time. Shown are the differences between servlets and CGI. Running a servlet doesn't require creating separate process. That is, the servlet is loaded in the memory at the first time. And for each request, instead of creating separate process, it creates separate threads. And threads are lightweight as compared to process. Since it stays in memory, so it doesn't have to be reloaded each and every time and there is only one instance serving multiple requests via multi-threading and a separate instance is not created for each of the requests. These are the advantages of servlets over CGI but servlets being mainly Java or related to Java programming can be written already all can be written only in Java, while the CGI script has scope for more or other languages. Shown is a typical servlet API. The servlet API starts with a servlet interface which is present within Java X dot servlet. The servlet interface is further taken by generic servlet. Generic servlet can work with any protocols, but 99.99% of times, Servlets are used with HTTP protocol, which is the protocol for communication over web, which is also the protocol supported by browsers. Hence, we have HTTP servlet, which is defined within Java X dot servlet dot HTTP package for dealing with HTTP request and response respectively. Generic servlet is still supported because there might be some legacy code still present in which a protocol other than HTTP might be used by the servlet. Shown is the life cycle of a servlet. The entire life cycle of the servlet consists of three methods. The first is init, second is service and third is destroy. Init is mainly used for initialization. All the initialization parameters which are required by the servlet should be put within the init code. It's called only one in the life cycle of the servlet. 
that is once when it is loaded. The second method is service method. As the name says, it is used to provide a service. Generally, we don't directly call the service method, but we'll make use of some other methods which provides a service. An example of the same is to get and do post methods, which are methods used to serve a web request which comes via either get or post. Service method handles multiple calls. So it and its method must be implemented in a thread safe manner. Destroy is the method invoked whenever the servlet is shut down. It is mainly used to release resources if any hold by the servlet. Destroy method is called only once and hence it has to be thread safe because there can be multiple threads running whenever a destroy method is invoked. With this brief introduction of servlet, let's get started with servlet by using Eclipse IDE and Tomcat.